bring the cause of the consideration of our estimates for the military and its agencies. A press conference has actually been held. This is the first annual of it. Um, one of the members did raise an issue that the annual reports of the N NCA have not been suspended. So in his view, all the estimates of the ministry and this agency should not be considered until the annual reports were submitted to Parliament. And so that matter was debated at length. And I indicated to them that I actually have copies of the 2015 and 2016 reports with me in the committee sitting room at the time and I showed it to the members and that the 2017 report was in my office and that if they would give us a few minutes we would make it available to members to peruse and so um, sitting was adjourned for 30 minutes to enable us produce the 2017 reports and I sat there and waited until I received the, the, the copy of the 2017 report. The members came back and we showed it to them, showed them the uh, report of 2018 as well, which was at the printer. So we showed them the bound copy of it and that it is being printed as we speak. And subsequent to that, the estimates of the ministry have been presented to the committee and I think about four agencies also started presenting their estimates to the, the, the committee. So I'm surprised to hear that um, sitting was suspended for the day, we were sacked and told to go away until we presented all the, the reports. Mind you, I was not the minister in 2015 or 2016. So this thing started long before the NPP came to power. But I am the minister now, and it is my responsibility to ensure that the annual reports of my agencies are laid before Parliament. And I indicated at my vetting that um, I would ensure that it is laid before Parliament as soon as I receive it. I never said anywhere that I have it, and it is before Parliament, and it is ready to be laid, because as at the time, it was not. And so I'm surprised that um, we took pains to clarify all these matters to the committee. It was satisfactory to them. And I concede that yes, if annual reports have been outstanding for six years, it's a problem. But then as a responsible minister, it is my duty to ensure that the NCA also does its work the way it's required to by law. But if I don't have it, the law enjoins me to present it to Parliament within one month of receipt of the annual reports. As I'm speaking to you today, all those composite reports which were outstanding, I got them today. If one month from today I have not presented them to Parliament, then I would be in breach of the law. And that's what we explained to them, that I'm working very hard, putting pressure on the NCE to ensure that they present their composite reports so that I can also present it to Parliament. Majority of the members were satisfied. Sitting has commenced. So far as I'm concerned, um, there is no problem. So I really must put it on record that I'm surprised to note that during the period of the suspension, all this information was put out there. Not all of it is entirely accurate. And um, I'll be grateful if you contacted the chairperson of the committee or the vice chairman of the committee who are also present. My information is that all the minority members were at this press um, briefing at which they put out that information. But that's not reflective of exactly what happened at the committee. And I'm a little distress, if I might put it that way. I'm not very happy. I don't want to use any um, strong language, but I, 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 I'm a little at a loss as to why they would put out that information when that was not exactly what transpired at the meeting. I volunteered the information that 2015, 2016, and 2017 are ready. I actually showed them copies of 2015 and 2016. I requested for time to be 
um, giving me so I could bring the copy of the 2017 report, which was also ready. And they granted us that time. The sitting was suspended for 30 minutes to enable us to produce that document. At the end of that period, when they resumed, the document was produced and the, it was given to them to see. They were satisfied with it. Sitting commenced. And I finished presenting the ministry's um, estimates or our budget for 2022. And the rest of the agencies are ongoing. We stand ready to cooperate fully with the committee to conduct all the um, oversight responsibilities. And as far as what, so long as it's in my power, I will do whatever it takes to ensure that all the agencies in the ministry abide by their legal obligations. Sometimes not all of them do so, but I kept telling them that at every stage of the, the, the way, if I am unable to provide um, them with the information that they seek, I'll come and tell them why I was unable to provide so that we will all be on all fours with it. So I'm a little surprised at this turn of the event. But be that as it may, even reports that were outstanding before I took office um, will be presented to Parliament tomorrow. And um, th those are the three reports from 2016, 15, 2016, and 2017. They will be presented to the House tomorrow. It's not my duty to produce those reports. My duty is to lay the reports within one month after I receive it. So if I haven't received those reports, I cannot lay it. So when it comes to um, the performance of my duties, I've told you, I got 2015, 2016, 2017 today. I'm laying it tomorrow, one day after I received it. And it is a matter of how well the NCA has acted in producing these reports on time. They did indicate to me that there were some challenges with the audited accounts for the period. And that is what has delayed it. Now, if they haven't pre produced the previous year's reports, they cannot produce the current year's report. And so we've been working closely with them since the beginning of the year to ensure that all the outstanding reports are concluded so that I can also perform my duty as efficiently as I can in laying the reports before Parliament within one month of receiving them. And the drafters of the pieces of legislation were clear in who's, where the responsibility lay. Granted, maybe I should have put even more pressure than I have, but if you ask the NCA, they'll tell them that uh, I give them uh, a lot of grief when it comes to these things, but probably due to circumstances beyond their control, particularly when you've taken over from predecessors who have outstanding reports and reconciling all those matters and bringing them up to speed would take some time, but better late than never, at least due to pressure on our part. And when the committee raised this matter, I already had the copies of the reports with me. So it is not as if it is on their prompting that we pro procured those reports. The process was already underway. I was just waiting to actually get them so I could bring them to Parliament. And thankfully by today, and it's uh, my guardian angel, like I say, is always working over time. I had no way of knowing that this matter would come up in the committee um, meeting. But as soon as it was raised, I told them that this is what the situation is. These are the reports that are available and ready to be laid in the house. So as far as I'm concerned, it really is not that big an issue. Yes, the fact that it is um, delayed, is an issue, but it is not as if we have ignored or neglected to work on that. We've actually been on them, and they have also worked very hard to ensure that they push out all the outstanding reports before um, the end of the year.